So let's look at the following example that deals with the conservation of mechanical energy. So let's suppose a ball with a mass of 10 kilograms is pressed against the spring with a spring constant of 1000 newtons per meter. Now if the spring compresses a distance of 5 centimeters, we want to calculate the final velocity of the ball when the spring is released. So let's make the assumption that we have no friction and the spring is massless. So that means only conservative forces are acting on our object and so we have the conservation of mechanical energy. Our initial total mechanical energy E1 is equal to the final total mechanical energy E2. So E1 and E2 are given by the following equations. So E1 is equal to 1 half mass times V1 squared, our initial velocity, plus 1 half K, the change in our position squared. So this is the total kinetic energy of our object, and this is the total potential energy, and in this example, our potential energy is given in elastic potential energy. So elastic potential energy is the energy stored in our spring. So, the K is simply our spring constant, the change in X is simply our displacement, the distance the spring is compressed, and our V1 in this case is zero. So our object initially is assumed to have a velocity of zero. So if we calculate the quantity of E1, we can then use that to calculate the final velocity of the object V2. So let's begin. E1 is equal to, well, because our velocity, initial velocity V1 is zero, we have zero joules of kinetic energy, plus the elastic potential energy, the energy stored in the spring. So one half our K, a thousand newtons per meter, multiplied by 0.05 meters squared. And we get a value of 1.25 joules. So this is how much elastic potential energy is stored in our spring when we compress that spring a certain distance, 5 centimeters. So at the final position, all of that elastic potential energy will be transformed into kinetic energy, the motion of our object. So E2 is equal to 1.25 joules. So we can use this equation and say 1.25 joules E2 is equal to, well notice at the final position our spring is not stretched and it's not compressed. So that means there's no elastic potential energy stored in the spring. So that means because change in position is zero, this term goes to zero and we're left with 1.25 joules is equal to the kinetic energy of the object, one half mv2 squared. So we solve for our final velocity v2 and we find a final velocity of 0.5 meters per second. So our object will have this velocity when all of the elastic potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy.